Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, you all know that TCS Ninja as well as TCS Digital interviews are going on for the 2023 batch students. So guys, I have got lot of interview experiences. I have made some of the videos for interview experiences as well as many of them I have posted on my Telegram groups. Okay. So guys, one thing I have noticed that the coding questions which are getting asked in the interviews. Here in this video, I will be discussing the commonly asked coding questions in TCS Digital as well as TCS Ninja interviews. This is not TC Digital exam, but the commonly asked coding questions in TC Digital as well as in TC Ninja interviews, which are getting asked at present. So I will be discussing all those questions in this video. So make sure that you do not uh, skip the video in between and watch the video till the end. Guys, previously also I have made lot of TC videos for as uh, you can see here, TC Digital interview experiences. I have made TC Ninja interview experiences. I have made as well as we are also conducting the mock interviews okay so if you are interested in giving the mock interviews of TCS ninja or TCS digital the links are given in the description box you can book the mock interview slot with us we are asking the questions which were actually asked in the real interviews we are asking coding questions also we are asking technical round questions managerial round questions all these type of questions we are asking in the TCS mock interviews so you can book your slot now the links are in the description box slots are limited so book as soon as possible so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video, please, <coughs> sorry, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel and do watch this video till the end because around 8 to 10 coding questions which are very commonly asked in TC Digital and TC Ninja, I will be discussing this video. Okay, so guys, the first question here is swap two variables without using the third variable. So guys, again, it is very commonly asked, not, uh, not in the hiring that is going currently, but it has been asked previously also in TCS or many other companies. So do make sure that you know at least you know at least this question because it is a very important question as per the interviews concerned. So you can always take the screenshot for this so that here I have given the answer also that how you can swap the values of two variables without using the third variable. So I hope this question is clear to you. You can always take the screenshot for the same. Okay. Next question was find the unique number in the array. So again, again, I'm telling you that these are the coding questions which are commonly getting asked in the TCS digital as well as TCS Ninja interview not exam but in interview these questions are getting asked so don't get confused in the in interviews these questions are getting asked and they are very basic questions if you have slight knowledge of data structure also you will be able to you will be able to solve them in the interview okay so the question here was find the unique number in the array so what does this question means like let's just suppose you have the array like this two is there one is there and again two is there now three uh, three is there now again one is there so now you will have to find the unique number. What is the unique number? That is only appearing once. That is only appearing once. Here you can see that 2 is appearing twice, 1 is appearing twice and 3 is only appearing once. So here 3 is the answer for this particular question. So this was the question that is, was also asked in the TCS digital interviews. Okay. I hope this question is clear to you. The answer, the question, actual question and answer of this solution, I will give you this link in the description box. You can go there and study for yourself. Okay. So I hope now this question is clear to you. Next question was find the nth Fibonacci number. So guys, for any hiring, that is TCS, Wipro, Infosys, this question is again very important for the interview. That is the finding the nth Fibonacci number. So those candidates who are giving TCS data interviews, this question is asked many of the times in the interview. So kindly take the screenshot for the answer I have given here. Okay. So I hope now this question is clear to you. Now let me just explain what is a Fibonacci number. Like the first number is zero. First number is zero. Then second number is one and then it starts one, then two, then three, then five. So what is happening? So this number is equal to five is equal to the sum of previous two numbers that is two and three. So this is what a Fibonacci series is. So we have to find the nth Fibonacci number. I have given the logic here. So I hope now you have taken the screenshot. Now move into the next question. Next question is reverse array. So again, it's a very basic question that can be asked from you in an interview. If you have a basic knowledge of data structures, you will be able to you will be able to code this answer in the interview. Okay. So again, you, if you do not know, you can always take the screenshot here. I have given the logic here. So this was the fourth question that is reverse the array. Next question was Cadence algorithm. Now many of you will think that what is Cadence algorithm, but guys, again, it's a very easy as well as commonly asked algorithm for finding the maximum sum subarray. So Cadence algorithm is for finding the maximum sum sub array. So this is 
where uh, using the cadence algorithm we find the maximum sum sub array with, with o, o of n complexity again for knowing this uh, question better as well as the solution better i will give you this link in the description box do uh, click on this link okay so i hope now this question is also clear to you now guys the all the questions that i am discussing in this video you must like if you do not have any knowledge about the data structures but you must prepare these 8 to 9 questions that i will be discussing in this video they are very important for the interviews concerned because they, this is only the 7 of 7 uh, or 8 questions pool from where different different interviewers are asking different different questions so just know them and just answer in the interview okay so i hope now this question is clear to you and again i want to tell you that we have started taking the mock interviews for tcs ninja as well as tcs digital so please book your slot as soon as possible the slots are very limited the links are in the description box okay now moving to the next question next question was uh, next question is find if the string is palindrome or not again very basic question what you have to do you will simply have to take the screenshot for the same and now what is palindrome many of you will not know like what is palindrome so palindrome is simple like i write any sentence as yes so this is a string if you will read from left to right and if you will read from right to left then it will be spelled as same that is as double a as from left also from right also this, so this is what a palindrome is okay number can also be a palindrome like 121 is also palindrome again lal is also a palindrome so like this these things are palindrome i hope now this question is clear to you the solution is here okay so i hope this question is also clear to you next was explain binary search algorithm so guys if you have seen my previous videos okay wherein i have uh, i have made the videos regarding that what are the important topics to study for the tcs digital interviews okay so just a second uh, okay so yeah, this is the video that is how to prepare for tcs ninja as well as digital interviews so if you have seen this video then you must know that all the sorting algorithms and all the searching algorithms with their complexity you must know the coding part also the definitions also and the complexities also uh, best case worst case uh, average case all this complexity with the code for the sorting algorithms and searching algorithms you must know these questions can be asked in the interview and they are getting asked you can see here these are the questions the questions that i am discussing in this video are the commonly asked questions which are getting asked in the digital and ninja interviews which are going on from past uh, one week okay so kindly if you do not have any knowledge just uh, just prepare these eight to nine questions that i am discussing in this video it will be more than enough okay explain binary search algorithm is one of the searching algorithm but you must know the sorting algorithms also as well as all the search algorithms okay i hope i hope i have made myself clear and you will be preparing for the same okay now the last question that was that i to, I, I want to discuss in this video is average of n numbers so right, this is the easiest question this is the easiest question that can be asked from you in any technical round of any company this is, has been asked in tcs digital interview that are going on okay so average of n numbers that is you will simply have to first sum all the n numbers and then you will simply have to divide it by n you will get average of n numbers okay so these are the eight questions that i picked up which are very commonly are getting asked in the tcs digital interviews as well as the ninja interviews which are going on so if even if you if you do not have any knowledge about the coding part then just do these eight questions and it will be more than enough for you for the interviews okay so i hope now all these questions are clear to you many of you were requesting me to make such videos so guys i am really sorry from past two to three days i was really busy i was not able to make the videos but if you want that i i should continue to make the interview experiences which are still going on for ninja as well as for digital then do like the video do share the video do comment down that yes you want more such videos and do join the telegram groups that i have given in the description box okay so guys this was all for this video i hope you like the video and do comment down that what type of videos you want on this channel so thank you for watching this video